on the road. One man, one van, one pan, one microwave, one burner. If you're pulled up by the side of a road because you're feeling peckish and you want to cook yourself something quick like say spam and potatoes and maybe baked beans the chances are you're going to be on a tilt because of the camber of the road you can make use of that you can use the natural tilt of the vehicle to boil because the water pools in one half So start the meal with the potatoes because they take the longest time. They'll need to be there until they pass the fork test. In other words, when they come off a fork easily. You really need to cover them for that. Use a non-stick fry pan to add the spam, ham or whatever other meat you want. Now, to prevent it, the meat or anything else going into the water, you can, either, you can pour some water out, you can use something like a twig, kill the germs, just sear the twig. and keep the meat in that way. Now if you're going to fry an egg, remember that the white will go down into the water before it's hard. So you'll need to use something like that. I'm not frying an egg today, I'm going to use baked beans. But sometimes, when I have eggs, I love them with this meal. The angle of the pan can make it difficult to pick up things, so you may need to use a spatula plus tongs. You see how nicely round that is? This is spam, thickly cut. Yep, fork test is fine. So it's just about ready. I'll put the baked beans in there. Now you have to try and keep that away from the water. It doesn't matter if it goes in the water, but I just prefer mine to cook in their own baked bean juices rather than in water. The actual water has um, gone right down there now, it's boiled away. Boiling and frying simultaneously in the one pan. It's now ready to eat. Just don't eat the twigs because they're still tough. Of course if you don't have a nice road to tilt your van on, you can park on the flat and just tilt the pan or tilt the burner. <laughs>